Hello. Um, uh, seeing as we're in the, the, the discussion of cannabis uh, is on the table. I'd like to remind uh, like some politicians there, like, you know, Fianna Foyle, Fianna Gael, like, they reigned at the time. Um, remember the little phenomenon, like, of the, you know, 25 fucking head shops opening up overnight in, like, within the space of six months in 2007 for a few years? Uh, you remember those? Uh, there was three... There was three, uh, not head shops, I mean legal, legal high shops. Uh, there was three, um, there's three head shops in Dublin, originally in Dublin, like, uh, in the city centre. Um, and they were established for years. And they only sold magic mushrooms, they were import them from South America. And uh, smoking paraphernalia, lighters and bongs and stuff. Um, and they were all, like, that was, they were already there. It was, like, these were always here, and, like, whoever, like, used them, used them, and whoever di didn't, like, you know, there was no 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 big deal. Like, they, they're still there. Like, they never caused a scene. Then, but uh, then all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, one day, I get up and uh, I can see the newspaper headline, and it says that, like, it's uh, sensational. It says uh, some guy took magic mushrooms and jumped off a balcony in in uh, in uh, Dublin. Apparently, this man is from Dunleary. They gave an address and stuff when I looked it up a while ago. Um, uh, but like, okay, right. First of all, most people with magic mushrooms don't think that they're going to be able to fly if they go jump off a balcony. Like, that's not something that happens normally to people to, on the, that are tripping. Like. Um, um, I'm not on mushrooms at any rate, like, uh, so anyway, boom, yeah, the he magic mushroom, Mary Harney is the Minister for Health at the time, uh, magic mushrooms are banned in Ireland, even though they grow here, uh, um, so, from being sold, so, uh, in the shops. Then, all of a sudden, just like, you know, I don't know what's going on, but there's like this trend going on uh, around the world, like, at the moment of fucking legal high shops opening all over the different parts of the world, like. And the next thing you know, in the space of a year, uh, nearly, about to say nearly 23 fucking, in the city centre, like, compacted, like, as far as Fibsborough, uh, 20, about, tw I'd say about tw 20 fucking legal, uh, legal high shops opened up, right? And the thing is, like, this is, like, this is a pure loophole situation, like, um, all, it's, there's nothing else to buy in the shop except drugs in packets, but that are legal. But, um, the disclaimer on the packet says, not for human consumption. So there was a legal loophole, but these just opened up like this, and anyone was able to open one up, like, uh, so I open up the business. Anyway, right, so, also, Mary Par Harney put my fucking personal friend out of business because of banning magic mushrooms, like, uh, so, fuck you, Mary Harney, you're fucking dope, like, um, um, yeah, so anyway, right, so it says not fit for human consumption, but there's no other fucking pur purpose to these shops. These are not fucking something you go into a shop and stick in your bathtub. These are clearly drugs to be used legally, right? Right. The thing about it is, there was ingredients in these drugs, right, which could be anything under the sun, any chemical under the sun, all sorts, like fucking everything, anything, things you never heard of, like. Some of these drugs had never been tested on fucking human beings before they were sold to be used as substitutes for cocaine, ecstasy, speed, MDMA, LSD. No substitute for fucking mushrooms, so. Um, some of them had never been tested. Some of the ingredients had never been tested on humans. In Australia, 
five, the five people died from one ingredient of one drug that all bad didn't know each other like. Um, and they sold, they let this happen. And I would really, really, really like to know what the rate of psychiatric admi admi ad ad fucking uh, admissions rose from before they opened while they were going on and then after because there was fucking the last one of the last shops in uh, on uh, Henry Street was owned opened up by a, by a really small shop opened up by some criminals gangsters fucking the place got set on but blown but set on fire completely blown out on Henry Street right and um, overnight by fucking people that they were warring with because they were criminal gangsters that opened it up. And then the next thing you know, you know, then they were gone like after that, basically, like not that long after they just, you know, disappeared and it's back to the three same shops and another one opened since then. Uh, and this is like, and she, they put my friend out of business, like, and he had been working there. That was his, that's his, like his entire income for like, his whole life, he, but all, that's all he, that's what it was job, like, he was just like one man running the shop, guy running the shop, and she put him out of business because she, because they buy magic mushrooms, which grow here legally, and nobody in a million years would ever even consider jumping off a fucking balcony on magic mushrooms, but, yeah, anyway, I just didn't want to cash in on the fucking old, uh, legal high fucking, uh, fad, without taking into consideration that some of the ingredients and the stuff, even though it's clearly, is, there's absolutely no doubt like in anyone's mind, they even have fans at festivals, like, um, there's no doubt, there's no, there's no other possible use for these shops. They didn't sell anything, bar drugs and packages. They just said, not, fit, not, not, uh, not meant for human consumption on them. And I'd like to know how many fucking, uh, uh, how many, how, what the fucking, I would say there was a massive jump in the amount of people who uh, were admitted into psychiatric institutions during that, uh, during those couple of few years those were open. So, uh, 